So how do you assess Turkey's uh, general response to the developments of the Arab Spring so far, particularly what's been going on in Syria? Well, you know, ge generally, the Turkey has supported the various uh, Arab states that have gone through revolutions, specifically Tunisia, Egypt, lately more uh, Libya. Uh, but when, and the question of Syria is a different story altogether. Uh, Syria borders uh, Turkey and has a very long borders between the two countries. What happened in Syria will impact, affect Turkey in one form or another. Uh, being that the massacres and the slaughters taking place now in Syria, uh, hundreds of thousands of refugees are fleeing Syria. More than a hundred of thousands of them are in Turkey. Being that by either deliberately or by mistake, Turkish airplane was downed by Syrian forces. Uh, some rockets killed some five uh, Turks, Turkish uh, civilians. As we speak, there are now exchange of fires between Turkey and Syria. Uh, this could escalate. But in the final analysis, I think from Turkey's perspective, they do not want to see a S Syria controlled by the Shiite Muslim. That is really the, the bottom line. Syria has become, in my view, a sort of the battleground between the Sunni and Shiite. So the question today for Turkey, for the United States, to fashion any kind of solution to the crisis in Syria, they have to ask themselves the question, what kind of outcome they would like to see in Syria following the demise of the Assad regime? and then take the kind of step necessary to be able to achieve the envisioned outcome. And to that end, every single day they wait and do not much about what's going on in Syria. They are allowing Syria itself to disintegrate. And so you could end up, in a few months from now, to more than scores of different factions also killing each other, even in the wake of, you know, after Bashar Assad leaves. If you don't want Syria to unravel, it's time to intervene now. And to do so, you have to start with the no-fly zone. You have to, to be able to provide a base for the Syrian uh, Free Army. You have to provide a, a base for the Syrian National Council. You have to supply the rebels with the kind of weapon to be able to down uh, airplanes, helicopters, and to destroy tanks and, and things like this. That is the only way you're going to accelerate the process and be able to begin to influence the outcome of the conflict. Well, Turkey is also concerned uh, about the Kurds. Um, so what are the prospects of, uh, of an independent Kurdistan uh, you know, rising out of this conflict in Syria? Well, this is, this is part of the concern that the Turkey has. Again, the longer this conflict continues, and there is no solution, if there is no solution to it sooner than later, then the Kurdish uh, problem, not only in Syria, also in Turkey, becomes ma far more aggra ag aggravated. And this is Sir Turkey does really want to avoid this almost at all costs. And that is why I think Turkey would be in the forefront in trying, as the Foreign Minister Ahmed Davidolo said, that we should impose a no-fly zone because Turkey wants to prevent this, this, the disintegration of, of Syria, uh, which could actually lead the Kurds in, in Syria, nearly two million of them, and they're already talking about it, try to establish autonomous rule in Syria. And that could be the beginning of a much greater problem for, the, for Turkey, because once that, if that is going to happen, and the possibilities, at least in terms of thinking and talking about the re-establishment of Kurdistan becomes more and more viable, albeit it's a very, very um, a difficult objective to reach because we are not there yet.